Hey everyone, Dan Saavedra here from MergerData.com. Tableau 2022.3 was just released and we're gonna jump into the top four new features for developers in the desktop version. Okay, before I get started, I just wanna point out that this video is specifically for Tableau developers. If you're just a user of Tableau, I'll be making a separate video that goes over the best new features that were released in Tableau Cloud, which is where you'll be consuming your dashboards. But let's jump in to Tableau Desktop 2022.3. I've got a window open here with the Superstore workbook. And I'm just gonna jump right in and go over to their overview dashboard. And you can see that there's actually already a new symbol up in the top right. Now, this new symbol is called the data guide. And if I click on it, you can see that there's already a bunch of context here, and it's a lot. Um, but if I click specifically on a data point, you'll see that the data guide actually updates. And so this data guide gives you more context behind the exact visualization that you're selecting. And so this data guide is actually available both in Tableau Desktop and then when you publish it into Tableau Cloud. And so I'm just gonna click around here to various data points so you can see these numbers updating. I'm gonna move my windows over here. And so you can click into any of these explanations and Tableau is going to actually load more data about that. So you can see underlying characteristics, you can see extreme values, and they'll even provide additional visualizations. And this is really powerful because in the beginning of Tableau, you would have to develop every single view that you're looking for in terms of what you wanna to show to users. But now with this data guide feature and a bunch of other features that Tableau has released, a lot of the low lying visualizations and analysis are being created in an automated fashion. And this is making data-driven decisions much more impactful just because you have more context behind everything. Usually people will ask for more information if they're just looking at a trend chart like this. And so Data Guide gives them the ability to just dive into the data specifically and see what is going on underneath those data points. And so you can even use this as a developer, since you understand the data so well, you can dig into these specific data points and hopefully extract some unique insights. Might give you some ideas of other visualization, visualizations that you can create. And so it really helps with the creativity process of development. So the first major new feature release is this data guide. I would strongly encourage you to download the new version and dive into this because you'll find tons of use cases and it'll really empower your visualization development. And one more thing before moving on, I just wanna dig into one of these points to show you how powerful this data guide is. So I have a data point selected here for furniture, and you can see I clicked into the sum of sales and it's 12-1-2019. Now, I see that this underlying characteristics window pops up. So I'm gonna click on the one extreme value and you can see that it shows the distribution here of this extreme value and where it lies in, in relation to the other values in the data set. So this is really, really useful. If I go down to the record details, you can see even more about that specific data point. And so these are things that a lot of your dashboard users <clears throat> are going to usually look for um, in the last questions around. And so this really just gives an automated way for them to dig into these data points. So now you don't have to go and answer these questions specifically by running ad hoc queries and uh, building ad hoc dashboards. You can still view the full data. And so you still have the, the overall functionality that you're used to in Tableau Desktop. It's all just packaged into a nice window. And then lastly, this bottom window is really, really useful because you can visualize the difference of excluding that extreme outlier. And so instead of actually excluding it in your visualization, which can be difficult to do from a dynamic perspective, Tableau will do that for you here. So you can see that when that extreme value is excluded, the sum of sales changes from this value to this value. And so this is just a really useful insight. And I wanted to show that specific portion of the data guide to give you a little more guidance in terms of what to look for and what to dive into. So for the second new feature, I'm going to dive into a specific worksheet here. If you've been developing in Tableau a long time, 
you know that sometimes the interface can be a little bit rough to use. And so Tableau made a new update in 2022.3. And I'm going to show you that update right now by switching to group by folder. And so if I right click on one of these fields, go to folders, create folders, and we'll just do test folder here. We'll click OK. You can see that I was brought in the data pane up to that new test folder. Now it might not seem like a lot, but before in Tableau, when you would do these types of actions, the data pane would not follow you. So you'd create something and then you have to scroll up and find that specific thing that you just created, or you'd have to search for it in the search bar here. So now Tableau is automatically following you in the data pane. It might not seem like a lot, but it's one of those small annoyances that once it's out of the way, it saves you a lot of time and a lot of frustration. So that's the top new, that's the second top new feature released in this version. Now for the third top new feature, I'm going back over to the data source pane to show you something called new table extension. And this is really powerful, but I made it number three because it requires a new skill set for people who are usually using and developing in Tableau. And this is specifically coding. And so if we go over and drag this new table extension, and just drop it on the data model here. I already have my analytics extension set up with Python, um, but basically here I can enter a custom script and drag various sheets into this window and interact directly in the data model with this table extension. And this is really powerful because it's opening up Tableau to more advanced analysis before Using the analytics extension was a little bit clunky within dashboards. Now we can put it directly in the data model and spit out specific fields to be used in Tableau. So what this can do is it can really democratize the dashboard creation process because data engineers can come in here or advanced Tableau developers can come in here. They can develop data sources with specific analytics extensions and then publish those data sources to Tableau Cloud, to Tableau Server, and standard users can go in and develop using these data sources without having to know how to code. So this can be really powerful if you already know something like Python or R, but if you don't know Python or R, you can collaborate with others who can help out on the data modeling side of things and still extend Tableau's uses and capabilities far beyond what they currently can do. So this is feature number three. It's really powerful. Um, there are some really good walkthroughs and demos of how to set up these analytics extensions. So I would encourage you to go search for that to see how you can set this up on your local machine. And finally, the fourth new feature in 2022.3 that's going to be useful as a developer is something called dynamic zone visibility. And quite honestly, if you're an intermediate or above Tableau developer, I'm not sure how useful this feature is going to be because from what I can see, there's other methods of doing exactly what this feature does. And so basically all it's doing, and I've created a world indicators dashboard um, for this to show you how it works. Um, but basically it controls specific sheets on your dashboard, depending on the value of a parameter. Now, I'm not quite sure from, from playing around with it, how different this is from sheet swapping. Um, or just setting up filters based off of a parameter value. Um, but time will tell of the specific use cases that people find. And so I'm just going to show you this one so you know it's out there. It feels like it could be something significant or easier or an easier way to do something that you could already do. Um, but basically, if you see me clicking here on the various values, it's filtering the chart below. And if I deselect it, it disappears from the dashboard. And so for me, this isn't too much different than sheet swapping. Um, it's not too much different than just having contextual filters on your dashboard to change visualizations. Um, as you can see here, if I click to show this again, and then I click on this worksheet, you can see the control visibility using value is there. And so I have this dynamic zone parameter that I set up. There's an associated dashboard action that I'll open up really quickly here where it's just setting the value to false when I deselect something so that it hides the worksheet. Um, 
The only thing that I can think of is it might make it a little bit easier to set up zone visibility based off of calculated fields from your data set uh, because you can use string values for this parameter. So obviously when your data source loads, it can populate this parameter and dynamically change the context of your dashboards. But I'm still struggling to see the exact use case of this beyond the existing methods. Uh, maybe it doesn't create any new functionality and it's just a new way to do an old thing. So time will tell. If you figure out something with this feature that is useful and different from what we can currently do, I would love to hear it. So please make sure to comment below um, if you do find a use case beyond sheet swapping or dynamic parameters that are used as filters on dashboards because I'd be curious to know. So that wraps up our video here. These were the top four new features for Tableau Desktop 2022.3 if you're a developer. And I'll be making a video for Tableau Cloud from a user's standpoint if you're interested in that. Um, and then I might be doing a Tableau Prep one eventually as well. This was an awesome release from Tableau. They keep improving the product in a lot of ways. They're making it easier to use. They're making it quicker to develop dashboards. So it's a really powerful product going forward. Thanks for watching. My name is Dan Saavedra from MergerData.com. I'll see you on the next video.